This motor car was rebuilt about 20 years ago and it's been sitting in my garage ever since. I greased it and cleaned it up, put water and gas in it and so it should start. We'll see what happens. This is a Fairmont M19 motor car. It was made for Kansas City Southern in 1953. It has little grease fittings and valves to drain things underneath it and oil cups and underneath the gas tank right here there's a valve and when it's not running you have to shut it off. I'm turning it on right now because sometimes if it sets there the float in the carburetor valve won't seal up right and everything will flood if it sits there when it's not running. Now this has a two cycle engine in it and what that means is you have to add oil to the gas and mix it up to make it run. Now I use Fairmont says to do this 1 to 10 one part oil, 10 part gasoline, and to use three-way non-detergent oil. And in this car, Fairmont also says to use three quarters of a pint, which is 12 ounces. So if you put a Coke can full of oil in every gallon of gas, it'll come out okay. And that's what I do with the oil. It makes it easy that way. Be sure you stir it up. This gas tank and the engine doesn't have a fuel pump. The gas just runs by gravity into the carburetor. It also doesn't have a water pump. And the way that it works is the cylinder is down here and there's a water jacket around the cylinder. This is the front of the cylinder. And the cylinder heats up the water in a water jacket and it goes up here and the water vapor condenses in this little radiator and drifts back down and that's how it cools the engine. This car also uses, this is a spark plug right here and it also uses a buzz coil to make it work and what the buzz coil does, it makes a spark for the spark plug and in the inside the engine there's a two little pieces of metal and there's a bump on the flywheel and every time the bump comes up it touches the points together every time it comes up it touches the points together turns on the buzz coil, the buzz coil makes a spark for the spark plug and that's what makes that go okay this is what the engine looks like it's designed by like the very first gas engines they made it has two flywheels on both sides there's a flywheel here and a flywheel there and the cylinder is up there. This is the back of the radiator like I showed you before. And it has a lawnmower battery down there and it has an alternator out of a Chevy pickup truck. This alternator will charge no matter which way it turns, backwards or frontwards. And the original ones all they had was a lantern battery that made the buzz coil work to make the spark. And of course you have to keep changing lantern batteries all the time. And the other thing about this is to go backwards you have to start the engine backwards. To go frontwards you have to start the engine frontwards. And the, this is the timing right here and one way has a timing so you can make it go frontwards and the other way has a timing so you can make it go backwards. And this is the gas right here. You give it more or less gas right there. And this is the choke. You pull it up like that to make it make it choke it. You have to uh, be turning the engine for it to actually choke. And then you go down and these are the jets. You turn this to make it make the jets bigger or littler. And this right here is the brake. This is this is the uh, belt actually. This is the belt, and you push that, and it tightens up this big, big flat belt down here. 
this is what makes it go is a big flat belt and this is what tightens it up to make it go and this is the brake so this is where all the controls are right here the instructions to run this motor car are printed right here the instructions for where to put the timing lever and the throttle are right here so you set it up it says to start car forward you put the timing lever right there where the arrow is and then you give it a little bit of gas and this is the choke this this when you pull it up chokes it and when you let it down you can turn it to adjust the the uh, jets and the carburetor so what you do is you turn it all the way in until you feel it seat don't turn it hard just till you feel it seat and then you turn it back out one and a half turns this is a crank that starts it this crank only starts it one way so that if it kicks back it doesn't catch your hand so you can only start this one going frontwards. Some of them you can start both ways, but then there's a chance it could kick back and hit your hand. The crank goes right in the end of the engine right there. And when you crank it, never put your thumb over it. You take a hold of it like that. You don't want your thumb over it. You want it like that when you crank it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna choke it and turn it over a couple turns. So now I'm going to turn it over with the ignition off. I've had the ignition off. This is the ignition switch right here. So I'm going to turn it over with the ignition off. 